22 years young male with the history of severe epigastric pain, vomiting, uh, hepatitis E, and uh, complaining of severe pain in the epigastric region, right hypochondrium, and uh, his uh, alkaline phosphate is, is not raised, rather SGPT, gamma GT, and SGOT are all raised along with the bilirubin level. Now what I'm showing you is liver. It's giving dark starry appearance as it starts we see at night. So this is a starry liver with sharp vessel margins. This is vessel, this sharp vessel margin. These tiny minor portal vein radicals which are normally not seen are giving the appearance of as if you are seeing stars on the sky. So anyway, this is the starry liver, and the, we see this inflammatory uh, in inflammatory conditions and, and, uh, involving the liver, as in this case we are reckon, dealing with hepatitis, acute hepatitis, and this is the gallbladder. This is a lumen of the gallbladder. See the wall and uh, laid out. The walls, uh, walls are thick. It's thick up to approximately 3.9. And uh, you see that these cystic small areas, uh, hypopoic areas, are suggestive of uh, fluid. And this will be called an edematous gallbladder. So this is from here to here is the gallbladder. This is the gallbladder. And uh, with thick walls, edematous walls. And there is fluid around it. You see, this is a layer of fluid surrounding the gallbladder. This is the gallbladder in transfer section and here you see a layer of fluid around it. So this is in fact a calculus cholecystitis. The pain is because of a calculus cholecystitis which is uh, very rare to see uh, and this occurs because of uh, the infection from the liver that involves the gallbladder and the symptoms of gallbladder disease come in front of you. The patient shows, uh, gives the typical history of positive Murphy sign. Now here the, uh, you see the wall is thick up to 8.9. Uh, millimeter and all this is fluid with the echoes within it, thick echoes within it. So this is a, this is the lumen of the gallbladder, and this is the uh, thick wall, which is edematous. There is fluid within it. So this is a case of uh, a calculus cholecystitis due to hepatitis, acute hepatitis with the raised bilirubin level and uh, AGPT. <coughs> there is no evidence of any intrahepatic bacteria, nor is the <coughs> sorry, <coughs> CBD dilated beta sub bunker. We do not see any uh, increased portal vein pressure. It's something around 15.8 centimeter per second. So, at times, in such cases, the portal vein pressure is increased. There is no evidence of CBD dilation. So, this is our case of the day, which suggests uh, a calculus cholecystitis with acute hepatitis. Thank you very much.